Oh. <laughs> uh. Alright. Uh. Excuse me. Why is this not? Ah. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah! Ah, for fuck's sake. Aim's not. I'm gonna have to task kill it. One second. Okay. Um. Right. What have I been doing? I've been, okay, I've been spending a lot of time uh, being sort of very annoying <laughs> in the clap discord and on, on the github um, my big criticism of, of clap at the moment is that it's uh, it's not a standard <laughs> and there's no there's no real technical specification yet there's what they there's this there's a bunch of comments in C headers which is sort of claimed to be uh, a specification, but it's not. Um, it's like to me, it's not a spe specification. It's. Well, I'll show you uh, what I'm talking about here. Um, like when people say the clap specification, what they're talking about is you can go into these header files, and um, there's like. A bunch of inline comments in the C header files, um, which is good. A lot of these comments are very good, and the the, the extent to which they uh, constitute a, a standard um, is it, it, it's not good enough at the moment to be considered a standard, in my opinion. Uh, like the some of the some some of this shit is just ridiculous. Like the one that really got me was. Um, the tail extension. There's just no information <laughs> at all. This is the definition of the tail extension. The, ta the tail is a very complex thing and there's a huge number of, of questions that need to be answered and dis disambiguated um, and there's just no information about it at all. Um, so what there is at the moment is not a standard, it's not a technical specification. So I've just been like being very pedantic and annoying about it in this thread. Um, just trying to be as helpful as possible with my limited knowledge because I I, I have a feeling that um, in the f I'm going to be spending some time in the future. Um, uh, this, this guy here has been fantastic, um, but this guy seems to be <laughs> um, the, the only person in the only like clap contributor that I've encountered so far who has expressed any sort of interest or who is e even like taking my concerns seriously here. So I think that um, I'm probably going to be uh, doing some work in the future contributing to improving the clap specification because at the moment it's not good enough to it's not good enough to be um, in my opinion, it's, clap is not good enough to be cons considered for like mainstream adoption right now, and uh, because it's not it's not possible to to write a standards conforming clap post right now, and you might say, well, that's a silly thing to say because there are uh, clap posts that exist, like Bitwig Studio, for example. The thing about Bitwig is, uh, and possibly other uh, some of these other hosts is. Um, I think a lot of the engineers involved in Bitwig are were actually involved in like promoting. They were involved in like producing Clap in in the first place. Um, so everyone's like well connected and stuff. And if you're like writing the first, the world's first Clap post, you can do whatever the fuck you want because you're not. You don't need to follow. It doesn't matter that there's no technical specification that you need to follow. Um, Anyway, uh, so a bunch of time has been spent on that, and then I've just been uh, just flashing out the the clap post at the moment. Um, so I have so what I'm working on is very specifically a real time 
um, a real time f clap based effect rack that goes on the on the end of each track. And so it's going to look something like this. Um, so I, I I have I've purchased the the Fab Filter bundle and uh, nice thing about Fab Filter if they, is they have clap versions of all of their plugins. So these are all Fab Filter plugins. Uh, these are effect plugins. So I've sort of I've, I've scanned all of my the clap plugins that are available in my system. These are ones that didn't work. Um, and I've sort of deduced the list of ones that could be used as effects. And so if you double click on one of these, nothing happens or, or it just crashes because it's just not implemented yet. Uh, so that's what I'm working on at the moment. Uh, should we continue with this? Why is this not working? Face plugin factory. Okay, create plugin. It's returning no. For some reason. Is that even allowed to turn? No? Okay, let's have a look at... Let's see... Entry... Get factory, factory, factory... Pre-plugging... <clears throat> Returns no in case of error. Okay, there was an error. I'm not accounting for that, okay. Just do this. Uh, I don't know why that would be erroring. Is it because I didn't init the I should be calling this at some point. Where does that happen? In here, I think. If it wasn't happening, then I'd get an error printed. Hmm. So it might be it might be that it doesn't like this host thing, but uh, but maybe I it maybe it's because I don't support some extension that it requires that the plugin requires yet. So let's have what I can do actually is I s maybe in this call to create plugin. No, that would happen in init, right? It wouldn't happen in create plugin. So I don't know. Micro. So this is just. To, oh no! This time I got one. Okay. So one of which which one was it that didn't work? I can't remember which one it was. Try this one. Ah, the limiter doesn't work. I wonder if it's because in create plugin it's actually calling get extension. And then seeing that I don't support some extension that it needs. 
which I think is invalid according to the specification. No, it's not calling get extension. Clap version. So is there any error information that I can get? Returns no in case of error. How does that help? What about this one? This one also doesn't work. This one also doesn't work. Okay, let's just leave the breakpoint off and just see which ones work and which ones don't. Let's do it on one screen. Oops. So that one doesn't work, that one doesn't work. None of these work. The only one that works is this one, which is interesting. So that seems like it might be my error because it's the first one in the list and it's the only one that works. Why might that be? Let me think, let me think. Factory file index. Oh, I bet file index is not set. I bet it's just zero on all of them. So this one, it's going to be zero. This one, it's also zero and it shouldn't be. Yep, that's the problem. Where's that set? Should be set in here, I think. Um, file index here, yeah. It should be set in this function, I think. File plugin. Index in file is not what I want. Okay. Clap file index file index. I actually have some. Hold on, hold on. I have some nicer functions for doing this stuff now, so I will change this to this. And this.
Okay. Uh, now I'll stop messing around here. So essentially the thing I'm working towards right now is um, when I double click on one of these uh, clap plugins let's just check it's working now Okay, no error, All right. Um, so that created in the background, there's no like visual <laughs> visual indication that it happened, but um, that created an instance of this clap plugin and added it to the end of the track. Um, there's no, I need to like add some kind of UI element here. And then I'm just gonna add a button to open the GUI and then that's going to be a whole, the, the GUI stuff doesn't look too bad. Um, like it doesn't look too difficult to set up in clap. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll make it so that some kind of UI, simple UI element here. No, not going to add any sort of sliders or interaction with the parameter system yet. Just a thing indicating that an effect plugin was added to the rack here and then a button to open the UI. Um, but theoretically, okay, theoretically there is an instance of whatever that plugin was on the track right now. And if I try to play back, then it will actually process it. Let's see if that's actually happening in audio render. Because I wrote all this code already. Somewhere down here, rack, rack, effect. It called effect rack, yes, render rack. Theoretically, it should go into here. It does, and there is one device. Okay, um, I wrote all this code like <laughs> three days ago, uh, and I've never got to this point uh, at runtime. So let's see what actually happens here. Oh, it got into here. Okay. So this, I'm sure there's going to be bugs in here because this, I've never, this is all just written basically from, from looking at the, what exists of the CLAP specification and example host code. Uh, ah, this isn't just going to fail immediately because it's not active, right? Yeah. I have no, like, um, yeah, I didn't sort out activation yet. So... Let me think. <clears throat> so there's this concept of activation in clap where you need to activate a plugin after you create it before you can start using it. Um, and the sample rate is constant. So you'd need to reactivate Anytime the audio device settings change as well. Okay. Activate instance activates. And I assume that was a valid audio stream. Not really. At this point, I can't. Okay, so if Bahas. No, I don't think that's right. Audio. Uh, I can't remember how this is set up. Is there I have some kind of audio system? No. Uh, is it like this? Okay, if I have a current 
audio stream. Activate Good return false. And if it returns false, then the error is reported internally. Okay. If not activated. And don't do anything. That's fine. There shouldn't be no discard because I want to discard it. I still don't understand why this MD5 file always takes so long to compile. Because there's like nothing in it. It must be the optimizer like noticing something about that file and doing something really insane. With this stuff maybe. Because it's just... There's no const extra stuff going on. There's no headers included. It must just be the optimizer doing something really clever. Because it always takes like a minute to compile that. Right, let's add this no error reported so I have an invisible effect okay so let's start rendering it is active but not processing yet right yeah exactly and it's not scheduled to be processed right perfect so now now I have to start thinking about processing. So it's active now, but I also have to call this start processing function. Um, before I start processing. Um, yeah. So this part is quite complex. Um, Let me have a look at the example host. 
this is not a very good example, but it is an example. Um, somewhere in here, it's going to be calling start processing. But there's probably some wrapper function. Schedule process. Ah, it, it just does, it just schedule, it just uh, starts processing when it activates, apparently. Which is an okay way to interpret things. What I could do is um, anytime Blockhead starts playing back, I could just iterate through all the with the effect devices and say start processing. That's the one thing I could do. I think I'll just copy what the example host did here for now. Uh, but I'll put a to do. So I'll do schedule process but with a to-do um, only only if currently playing back Now it's going to do this, and it succeeded. And now this is probably the part where it crashes. Here we go. Oh my god. Status 1. What does that mean? This is so exciting. What does 1 mean? Continue! Oh my god. Beautiful. So this should just be silence. It's not silence. Okay, this doesn't look right. That does not look right. Okay, so I did fuck something up there, I think. Let's have a look at that. It should be writing into here, basically. Ooh, what's happened here? Hold on a second. Buffers. Channel count two. So these are. I have two vectors here, one for the left ear, one for the right ear. 
it looks like the I messed something up here um, when I was setting up the buffers just have a look We try to understand this because this is this code's really weird. I have one port. add a vector for the channel for the first channel and I say push that back and then do the same thing again so I have two oh that's wrong what did I do wrong here oh obviously the um yeah uh, yeah 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 the vector's being resized, um, so that's silly. I need to resize to info channel count and Uh, this isn't going to work at all. Um, how do I do this? I need to create the vectors first. I did not in, uh, think about the, uh, the vectors resizing. Um, yeah, the, the thing I'm doing here is I have to populate these. Um, not this one. I have to populate this clap struct here. And you have to populate it in a very particular way. Not this one. Where is it? Oh yeah, it is this one. I need an array of these things. And then each of these is like a pointer to an array of each channel of data. Uh, um... Data vectors. Total. Yep, uh, okay, out, arrays, resize, that, buffers, resize, vectors, resize, this, okay, and now, Port index. That's fine. It's 
do this. Okay, I think that's alright, maybe. Is that right? I don't know. Let me just watch what happens. So if one of these, one of these this one has support called main in stereo two channels. So we do that, that makes sense. We create two vectors, so two vectors in total. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, this. It's not going to make any difference, but I'll delete that in a second. So this makes sense, right? What we have now is, yes, that looks better. Okay, that looks fine. Let's delete that. And go back to here. And what I want is for it to just render silence. This is one, out. No, it's broken again. I don't know why. So that's the left. Oh, okay. So to me, it, what it seems like what's happening is the this filter plugin is actually putting these very t very small numbers into the output buffer, so it's not exactly silent. It's not outputting zeros, which is fine. Maybe it just doesn't by default, even if it has a zero input. Okay, um, 
So I can't modify any of the parameters yet, but let's maybe try something here. Oh my god. That's weird. Oh, it's because I have the tra transition length set like this, I think. Is that the reason? Wow, so this is the the fab filter micro plugin at the default settings. This is the effect that it has. <laughs> I can't I don't have any any interface for modifying the parameters yet. So that's cool. Um is there anything else? Volcano. Let's try adding volcano on this one. So there's gonna be no feedback that I'm actually adding it here if I just double click. Does that sound different? So it does. I can't remember what Volcano is. Um, timeless, I think, is a delay. But again, the, de the default settings for these plugins might be just nothing. So... <gasps> it's silent. That's weird. It's silent, but it's actually detecting a signal. Interesting. I don't think it's stuck playback in the middle. Oh, that might be... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where that is. Yeah, I need to modify that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this um, this peak detector thing on the on the volume slider, that's, um, that's being processed before the effect rack is applied. So I need to move, I need to move things around and make sure that's uh, working properly. Um, So it might, it might just be that the default for that plugin produces silence. Uh, is there a reverb? This is a reverb, right? Whoa! I can't believe this shit is working. Uh, um, cool. I'm a clap developer now. <laughs> uh, 